Good morning, Michael here, and today's devotion comes from Philippians 2 verse 50 that reads, That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Spurgeon expounds and focuses on the aspect that says, In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. And expounds. We use lights to make manifest. A Christian man should so shine in his life that a person could not live with him a week without knowing the gospel. His conversation should, should be such that all about him should clearly perceive who he is and whom he serves, and should see the image of Jesus reflected in his daily actions. Lights are intended for guidance. We are to help those of us who are in the dark. We are to hold forth to them the word of life. We are to point sinners to the Savior and the weary to a divine resting place. Men sometimes read their Bibles and fail to understand them. We should clearly, like Philip, to instruct the inquirer in the meaning of God's word, the way of salvation, and the life of godliness. Lights are also used for warning. On our rocks and shoals a lighthouse is sure to be erected. Christian men should know that there are many false lights shown everywhere in the world, and therefore the right light is needed. The wreckers of Satan are always abroad, tempting the ungodly to sin under the name of pleasure. They hoist the wrong light, beat ours to put up the true light upon every dangerous rock, to point out every sin and tell what, is, what it leads to, that so we may be clear of the blood of all men, shining as lights in the world. Lights also have a very cheering influence, and so have Christians. A Christian ought to be a comforter, with kind words on his lips and sympathy in his heart. He should carry sunshine wherever he goes and diffuse happiness around him. Gracious spirits dwell with me. I myself would gracious be, and with words that help and heal would thy life in mine reveal, and with actions bold and meek would for Christ my Saviour speak. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Many gravitate to the evils of the world without knowing what they're doing. And so it is incumbent upon us to point out the fallacy, to show the wolf in the sheep's clothing, and to speak according to what is righteous and good. Well, trust you enjoy the meditation. Michael here declaring, Jesus is Lord. Until next time, be blessed.